Adventures. Hey guys, it's Chook here from Chook's Outdoor Adventures. Never mind the Olight hat. I had this printed at the mall just to piss off Olight. But anyways, I wanted to talk about what SIG is doing with the new P365 fuse. I will show you the holster. I have been carrying it lately. This thing is amazing. And the technology that SIG is using, these pistols that they're coming out with, I have now reached the point. I'm a self-professed Glock fanboy that I would not buy Glock 19 gen 5 over something like this now i will say that i would prefer a glock a high-end glock clone over this for a battle belt such as zev I, I love the oz9 and the new stuff they're putting out the new 40 48 and 43x clones as well as shadow systems those i still think outshine this in some ways but this is so thin we're going to take a close look at it and test the trigger out but what they've done this is only a fraction of an inch over the height of a standard Glock 19, just a couple millimeters maybe. It's very close, and yet they've got standard 17 round magazines. It came with two 21 round magazines, which surprised me. I, I watched some videos, I thought it only came with one extra 21 round magazine, but it has reached the point where I, I would not spend the money on a Gen 5 Glock 19 when SIG is putting stuff out like this. Now, I know that's going to piss a lot of people off, and it took me years and years to kind of change my tune and turn away from Glock to these other pistols, but it's just undeniable now. They're especially SIG. They're putting out new stuff regularly, new iterations of the P365 line, especially for carry. This is so thin. Let's look at the specs. I, I'm blown away by this. All right, here we are. I am simply blown away by this pistol. Look how they completely redid the serrations. A lot deeper, a lot more aggressive. I really like what they did. They saved some weight with this window on each side to really stretch this out. We'll look at the dimensions, but I just want to get a couple pulls on the trigger see what we get here. That can't be right. It's supposed to be five and a half. Let's try it again. Hmm. Interesting. I'm impressed. Okay, that's more like it. Five pound. It feels good. As always, these SIG triggers, they, they feel spongy when you're dry firing them. Let's get the take up there. But when you're shooting actual ammo, you don't feel any of that sponginess. This is actually a great trigger. I love their flat face trigger. Didn't say if it was the X carry trigger, but it is nickel plated, which I really like. And obviously it's better than a Glock trigger. So when you take a look at the specs, when I'm comparing this to a Glock 19, it is just a fraction taller and 17 round magazine. So with the magazine in, you can see it's just barely taller. Now this is a Glock 23, exact same frame as a Glock 19, fits my Glock 19 holsters. But as you could see, it's just a fraction longer than it. So the Glock 19 is 5.04 inches, while this new fuse is 5.1 inches high. So just barely, but the width, it's barely over an inch. 1.1 inches and that's just at the widest point and they didn't do ambi it's reversible on these controls so i love that they could have even shaved that off and it probably would have been one inch but just an amazing pistol and so this has an extended barrel a regular glock 19 has a 4.02 inch barrel this is 4.3 inches, so it's got a longer barrel than a Glock 19. Just amazing. 
almost the same footprint and you're getting two extra rounds and then they throw in 221 rounders such a good value I think it's listed for 695 I got this for 650 EDC Alaska had one in one message me I just had to jump on it this thing is incredible I'll have the full review up Saturday so stay tuned for that so there you have it I I can't hate SIG and I cannot hate this pistol it's just amazing I'm gonna have a full review out Saturday tune in for that but let me know if you agree with me this beats a Glock 19 Gen 5 that used to be like the number one EDC. Now everybody's just getting the smaller P365s, but I don't know why you would do that when you can get one of these. I've been using a crossbreed holster and I did this little trick where I now lock the clips with a cant and I use blue Loctite. And even on my smaller frame, I can carry this fine in a t-shirt and not print. It's just amazing. And when you think about just the capacity, the 17 plus one in this thin little pistol, plus you can have a 21 rounder in your pocket, it's a no brainer. I am sold on this. I can't wait to take it out to the range, do my full review, be on the lookout for that Saturday. Thanks guys, it's Chuk, your friend in the field. Shoot out adventures! Why don't you almost die every time?